So now in this video, we have an NPN bipolar junction transistor here, wired as a big, basically as a voltage regulator. We're going to maintain a pretty steady voltage across the load here, even though the supply voltage will uh, double. And um, we're using the 2N3904, an NPN bipolar junction transistor, doesn't matter which one you use really. Um, Probably any will work, although some may have a different uh, pin layout. We have a flat side to the right there. So at the bottom is the emitter, in the middle is the base, and at the top is the collector. Emitter, base, collector. Now, we are going to set a voltage at the emitter. When you got uh, resistance or other uh, loads at uh, the emitter, between the emitter and ground right there, then the voltage you set to the base will transmit to the emitter, but it will be about 0.6 volts uh, different. So since it's NPN, it'll be about 0.6 volts lower that's set across the load right there. We're gonna use a Zener diode to set that voltage. Um, the Zener diode won't conduct up to its Zener voltage right there. And then once you get to that voltage, it will pass current freely at uh, that point, um, just enough to maintain that Zener voltage. So it may drift a little bit based on how much current is flowing through it. In fact, it will drift a little bit. Um, but if it's close to 5.1 volts, it should not drift uh, much. Um, so we should get, you know, pretty close, 5.6 volts there, and should stay pretty steady, no matter how much we change the supply voltage. And we just need a little bit of current to set that. So we got a 10K uh, resistor right there. Now, sometimes uh, loads, they, especially like semiconductor loads, like uh, the Zener diode and the LED might throw off that voltage. It has a hard time seeing like where ground is and responding to that. Uh, a 10K resistor right there, um, if there is a uh, problem with the load set throwing off the uh, voltage, the 10K resistor will give the emitter, a, you know, reference to ground right there. And then it will almost assuredly be the uh, voltage at the base minus 0.6 volts in relationship to ground. So now, zooming back, we have the uh, power supply set to uh, 7 volts right there. I got current limited just in case something goes wrong, but we won't exceed uh, 20 milliamps, so that should not kick in. We have the uh, power supply, or the uh, multimeter here. We're going to set it to measure uh, voltage and a red probe. We don't have to move for anything other than high current right there. If there's numbers, I always set it to a number higher than the value you're going to uh, measure. So, as we saw, the power supply was 7 volts. We can measure that. We'll get a little bit of losses along the way and uh, whatnot. Um, but uh, there you can see uh, we got 7 volts. And first, let's look at the uh, Zener voltage. As I said before, this is a 5.6 volt Zener diode. And um, if we had more current going through it, it would be above uh, 5.6. But uh, this is close enough. We got like 5.5. This is not a precision circuit. Uh, close is perfectly fine. And then across the LED right there, we got, uh, you know, a little less than 5 volts. So we lost about 0 0.6, 0 0.7 volts in that range between the uh, base 2 emitter. It could be up to 0.7 as well. Always be aware of that when it comes to the base 2 emitter voltage. And uh, the collector, the top pin there, is directly to the positive supply. It's just setting the voltage across the load, and from there the load sets the current. Now we looked at that with seven volts and uh, we're gonna bump this up to 15, which I think is probably uh, the limit before the maybe the transistor starts getting too warm. I think that's probably why I set that limit. I made this diagram a long time ago. So now we should still see about 5.6 volts across the uh, Zener diode. And uh, with the 10K resistor right there, even as we bump up double the uh, voltage, it's not going to, you know, it's going to let in, uh, you know, fair amount more current, but still it's a low enough amount of current where it's not really going to change the uh, Zener voltage. And uh, we just need a trickle of current going through it really to set the voltage. And there you can see uh, 15 volts at the supply. And uh, so I'm going down to the emitter, the bottom pin there of the transistor and we still have slightly less than five volts right there probably just a little bit more transistors conducting probably just a tiny bit better because it's quite uh, warmer um but uh it conducts better as it gets warmer but ultimately 
uh, if you have a resistive load at some point the resistive load will level it off so that goes with the diode uh, too it uh, or LED will probably conduct better as it gets warmer but ultimately that puts more voltage across the resistor and thus it provides more current limiting protection so at some point it will level off so now as always when you're done with the multimeter first off turn it off um, so you don't waste that battery but also like if you're measuring current or resistance or something you don't want to accidentally measure the voltage of something when it's on the wrong setting so set it to voltage if it does not automatically go off when you uh, turn it off and um, so some don't have an off or this has not an off button other ones do have an off button so it saves your uh, setting when you turn it back on um, but uh, in any case we have uh, 15 volts there that we used I do have this limited though in case I tried to wire something uh, at 5 volts but forgot this was 15 volts this will limit current to prevent an LED from uh, burning out or otherwise you know getting uh, they don't always burn out instantly uh, but sometimes they get damaged they're not as good after you put too much uh, current through them so we got that uh, current limited to uh, protect them so um, that is really it for uh, the circuit should be able to see it fine there let's uh, zoom in and uh, there's a close-up of the schematic when it comes to 5 volts with an LED 220 ohm is a probably about the lowest you want to go to protect like a uh, red LED you know you could get some more current through it okay but that's close to the limit and it's a common value so might as well use it remember the Zener diode is reverse bias and uh, that means the cathode there is more positive anode uh, more negative that's reverse bias um, normally you don't want current to flow through a diode well it is reverse bias but Zener diodes are made to specially do so so there is the black band over there and you can kind of see that red uh, stripe right there um, of the resistor camera doesn't really pick up the uh, colors uh, terribly well so in any case that's going to the uh, negative spot um, just remember that usually uh, regular diodes you only pass the current while they're forward bias when it's facing the other way and this will act kind of like a regular diode when it's uh, forward bias but you reverse bias you get a zener voltage it's specially made for that they come in a lot of different values so hope you enjoyed make sure you check out one of the other videos i'm posting the screen and check out the links down below they all help out a lot i'll see you in the next video